Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. I just updated my phone and the camera is updated different and it looks weird. Like we're used to, you know, like when you start recording and it starts showing the numbers going up, the seconds. Now it's red, so it's like really visible, which is good because now I can tell it's recording. Anyways, <laughs> today is Thursday, the 29th of October. Vlogtober is almost over and then we'll have a month off for November and then Vlogmas starts. <laughs> I'm definitely doing it, of course. And there'll probably be some Vlogmas videos throughout November because we do a lot of Christmas stuff in November. But anyways, today I was spending most of the day, what time is it? It's 2.30, spent most of the day cutting fabric. I cut out all the new bags and all the new uh, batting pieces, cut all the handles. I do got a, I ran out of the handle stuff. So I gotta make a run to Hobby Lobby <laughs> to buy just uh, six more yards. I need, I need uh, enough to make three more sets of handles for three of the tote bags. And that's roughly a yard each. It's 33 inches per side. So it's roughly in a yard per side of the bag. Anyways, whatever, six yards. <laughs> so here are the zipper bags. The rest of them, there's 11. And then down here is the tote bags, uh, 16, I think. And then I do have a ton of notion pouches. I cut out 52. <laughs> I cut all the scraps I had. There won't be that many in the shop this time, but I, I went ahead and cut them out and got them all ready. So there'll be some in this update and then some in the next. And then right here, there's a box of material that's gonna be drawstring bags eventually. <laughs> but now I'm just sitting here watching recipe videos on YouTube and crocheting a little crochet pattern. What's one of the patterns that I got from Lisa in a Happy Mail package yesterday. And it's this little, it's called strawberries because they're bears. <laughs> but I thought I'd make one of those. So I'm sitting here just watching uh, recipes, trying to get some more dinner recipe ideas for us here. And um, crocheting. So I thought I would film a little clip of me crocheting just to throw in here. And also I filmed some clips yesterday that I forgot to edit. I updated my computer and then shut it down last night. And when I remembered that I forgot to make my video, <laughs> I just went ahead and went to bed because um, I had already shut my computer down. But I recorded us going to Joanne's and the stuff that I bought, the little haul. And I'm going to insert that after this clip. And that'll be today's video <laughs> because uh, I'm not doing anything today. After I got all this cutting down, I'm just going to chill <laughs> the rest of the day. And tomorrow is Friday. Devin has to work, but my sister is going to pick me and Jesse up and take us trunk or treating tomorrow evening. And then Saturday, Devin is off. No, tomorrow. And then Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Devin is off, and we're gonna be doing Halloween stuff on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we're gonna be putting up our Christmas decorations, so that'll be fun. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here, and I'll see you guys in some clips, and then I'll see you tomorrow in some trunk or treat clips. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to No Kitchen Name. It's me, Ella. Today is October 28th, it's Wednesday. Oh, I need to do a watch work on Wednesday. I'll do that later. <laughs> but I'm vlogging today also because I have to go to Joann's and I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. I just got done packaging up the rest of my orders. I dropped off a whole bag yesterday. And this is a bunch of bags and amigurumis. And there's a box down there too. <laughs> but um, so far I'm caught up. So we'll see. I just got done doing mine and Jesse's and Devin's laundry. Uh, hanging it and putting it away. I got my new shirt that my sister bought me on. It's real big on me so I tied it in a knot. <laughs> Can you see? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the best at doing angles, but that's okay. So I'm sitting here right now. I'm drinking some uh, pomegranate lemonade <laughs> energy water mix from Walmart. It's like a dollar seventy something for ten, I think. That kind of is my favorite. It's always sold out. But I've, the other day, yesterday, when we were grocery shopping, I saw one box and I grabbed it. But uh, that's usually what I drink in the morning to give me a little boost of energy to get going. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'm waiting for Devin to get dressed and ready, and then we're going to head out. My mom is still watching Jesse. It's real rainy and gross today. And we're going to run to, um, I don't know if we're going to go to Murfreesboro or Mount Juliet. They're both the same distance from here, and they both have a Joanne's. <laughs> so we're going to go to one of those and uh, go fabric shopping and stuff like that. And I'll catch up with you guys later, I guess. <laughs> hey, guys. <Whew. laughs> I had to catch my breath. I was just random. Anyways, okay. I... Did a bad thing. I forgot to film while I was at Joanne's. But in my defense, outside it is pouring rain. Ever since we left this morning, it's been pouring rain. It's still pouring rain. And uh, Joanne's was pretty full of people. And I don't want to film people who aren't people with me because I don't want, you know, they might not want to be recorded. Anyways, I went to Joanne's. I got what I got everything I needed. I didn't buy anything extra, which is good because I'm trying to be a lot better with my spending. And I did good. 
um i only the only thing i got extra was i got a little bit more of a certain fabric which i'll show you just a second because um when she unrolled it, I needed a yard, but there was like a yard and a half. So I just told her to go ahead and give me the whole thing. And it ended up being on sale. So I got the whole yard and a half for cheaper than what I thought the yard was going to cost. So it turned out great. <laughs> Anyways, um, I, I got some happy mail. I went to the post office this morning to drop off the rest of my orders and the Emma Grammy orders. And um, Devin had to help me carry it down because it was a lot. <laughs> but uh, I had some mail. I only knew I had one piece of mail. And then I ended up having more in the box. What was on my um, informed delivery was just this card right here. And uh, it's got a really cute stamp. It's the Stamp Mom off of Cinderella, which is cool. But this is from Cindy, from Cindy Hart's Crochet. I'm so excited. I'm finally going to get to meet her next March because she's going to Kayla's uh, over at Llama Mama Cro... Llama, Llama Mama? Is it just Llama Mama Crochet? Llama? No, because... Llama Mama? It's just Llama Mama Kayla. There you go. <laughs> I forgot. Loma Mama Kayla is hosting a room retreat with her son Dakota in uh, Orange Beach. And me and Devin are going. And Cindy's going. And some other people are going. And uh, Cindy's going. So I finally get to meet her. <laughs> anyway, she sent me a Halloween card. A really cute Halloween card. And uh, yeah, it's Cindy Hart Crochet. Yeah. I'll link her below if I can remember. If And Kayla. Um, I'll try to remember. <laughs> but another Halloween card to add to my little collection. And then I also got um, a postcard from Barbara. And she's the one who lives on a sailboat. A lot of us um, crafty YouTubers get cards from her. I've gotten one before from her. Recently, I think. I can't remember. <laughs> but this is just a postcard. So she wrote a note on there. And it's a postcard of Florida. Right there. And her stamp. I love stamps. I used to collect stamps. Um, I'll cover up the note. Just because I like keeping my notes private. But the stamp that she sent is... I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a fish. It's got that stamp on it, though. But it's got a fish on it. And then... There. And then I also got a... Um, little package from Lisa. And Lisa... Lisa... Oh, I forgot what her channel name is. Is it Hooked on Crochet? I can't remember. I'm just... I'm not in my right mind right now. But Lisa sent me a little package, which I wasn't expecting. And her stamps... <laughs> I love stamps. I already said that. But hers is a bunch of frogs. I thought that was cool. But it's just a little package with a card in it. And uh, she sent me some little crochet patterns. Amigurumi patterns that are... Um, I had some of these before. The same style, but they were different patterns. From another person. So I guess they come in maybe a book or something. But there's this little bunnies. And then, oh yeah, it's like a calendar because it's got months on it. And then October's is a little um, puppy dog. And this is February is another little dog. My air just came on. <laughs> uh, January is a, like a sock monkey. Uh, April is eggs with mustaches <laughs> this is a march pattern it's like a uh, top of an egg like an egg cover and uh, I think I have this one already a little unicorn and a little beaver which is super cute an angel ornament um, oh gosh some of these are different I didn't even realize that just now I don't know if any of those ones are. No, I think they're just... Uh, this one is, uh... Is that a pierogi? Oh, it's a fortune cookie. <laughs> I thought it was a pierogi or how is that? This is cute. This reminds me of Bonnie. It's little bears, but their bodies are strawberries. <laughs> uh, this one is a little... Pig cupcake. <laughs> and this one is little like lovies a lizard and this one is another egg cover cozy thing and it's a chicken <laughs> that's so cute i might make some of those for easter all right so that's all those from lisa thank you lisa <laughs> that was my happy moment now my joanne's haul is pretty simple i just got some white thread <laughs> nothing amazing there 
and I had to get some batting. I went to get two of these. I was going to get two of these big giant 10 yard rolls of batting and it was on sale, which is awesome. It wasn't marked though at all. I was ready to use my coupons, but when we kept, uh, checked out, they were, they both rang up on sale. But, so I did get one of the big, big old 10 yard rolls for the zipper bags and the tote bags. But because I only had one of those, I had to get a piece that's, this is meant to make uh, quilts with. It's cut in the shape of like a king size quilt. But it's still batting. It's the same exact thing as that, just cut differently. But I can still use it to make bags with. This is what I bought originally before I even knew those big giant rolls existed. So, uh, it'll work. It'll work. And they were both on sale, so I was happy with that. But I got some fabric also. I had to get these two prints because they're super cute. They're like vintage Mickey Mouse prints. This is really busy, but it's got all, a lot of the characters on it. It's got uh, Mickey, Minnie, um, Donald, Daisy, and Pluto, and Goofy. So the original ones. And this is another vintage Mickey one, but it looks like a comic strip. I thought that was so cool. I had to buy them. <laughs> so these, these two will make uh, probably tote bags. They'll be uh, the big tote bags because everybody loves Mickey. And then I got cardinals. I had a couple people ask for cardinals, so I went ahead and got another yard. This is the same exact print I had the other day, but instead of being zipper bags, it's gonna be tote bags. And then I got two yards of this purple, because again, I had people asking for purple bags. So this will make uh, four bags. And then I just picked up some white to use as liners for some of those. And then also, um, in a video I made the other day, I made my sister some reusable pads and I have a friend of mine asked if I could make her a couple so she could try them out to see if she likes them enough to order some. Um, and with that being said, I'm, I'm not going to start making a ton of pads. <laughs> like, I have no intention of sewing pads um, all the time. But I do want to end up making myself some because I want to try them out too. So I just bought some um, flannel <laughs> for that, just a yard. And then I got, this was the, the one that was on sale. This is P-U-L fabric which is like a waterproof uh, liner type fabric that you people buy and make for reusable pads and uh, cloth diapers. It's like a, it's another layer you put in there to help uh, liquid <laughs> from going through. Um, so I bought, I was gonna buy a yard of this cause it was marked $12.99 a yard. But when I got up there and she, the lady was cutting it I saw that it was just a little bit left and it ended up being a yard and a half. I told her I'd just go ahead and take it all. And when she scanned it, um, she was telling me all the prices, everything on sale. Uh, the yard was nine dollars, and then the the half because it was considered a remnant, um, it was discounted, and then the remnant discount even more. It's like seventy four percent off thing. The half yard was only two dollars, so it ended up being eleven dollars for what I thought was going to be twelve ninety nine. So I was excited, and I got more fabric. So this is for the pads, and I have a lot of it, so I can make. Um, her some pads, my friend, and I can also make me a few to try out. And I did have a lot of people kind of interested in them because not just periods, but for um, incontinence, which I totally understand. But um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think I want to start making them like I do the bags. You know, a ton of them at a time. But I might every now and then make some and put them up and see if people are interested in them. And um, I have no intentions of selling them for a ton of money because if you look on Etsy, they're they're kind of expensive. <laughs> but um, you know, I, I have a lot of friends that might need them and I would definitely offer them at way, way cheaper prices just to cover like materials because, um, first of all, it's better for the environment. And second of all, you know, my, I don't you know, struggle with incontinence, but I know people close to me who do. So I know it, it sucks, you know, so I want to make people's lives a little bit better <laughs> if I can. So, um, I don't know. I'm just going to try. I'm going to start trying to make some and see how they turn out. But, uh, yeah, this is all, it can also be used. I think to probably to make a wet bag, which is what you would put the used pads and bit of cloth diapers in before you wash them, you know, so that you don't have to keep washing them just a little at a time. You would fill up the wet bag with the used ones and then you can wash them all together. But, you know, whatever. I don't know. I'm just now starting this, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure I'll do just like with the bags and I'll change it up over time. But um, as a beginner, I've been watching tons of videos and stuff and I'm just trying to figure out the right materials to use and, um, good patterns and stuff and just going from there but that was my Joanne's haul I spent way less than I thought I had like an idea in my head of how much this stuff was going to cost and because online this wasn't on sale the batting wasn't on sale 
and the character prints weren't marked on sale. The only thing that was marked on sale when I looked was the flannel. So I had all the full prices in mind. <laughs> and it turns out everything I bought was on sale today except the thread. So I, when I used my 40% off coupon, it took it off of one of the threads. And I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> but um, I saved a lot of money. And I, I uh, didn't spend nearly as much as I thought I would, which is great. So now I can roll that over into the next shop update that I have to buy for. But yeah, I got to start cutting all this stuff tomorrow and getting some bags made. <laughs> There'll be zipper bags and tote bags and notion pouches. And yeah, that's pretty much it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here because I got to put all this stuff where it needs to go and uh, relax for a little while because I have a headache. <laughs> I took a medicine and it's kicking in finally. I can feel it. But yeah, I will catch up with you guys again.